<laughs> this is an ad for Kano. Hey guys, we got something exciting for you today. We are building a computer, a DIY laptop. This guy is always asking me to use my laptop, so I told him if he wants to use a laptop, he's gonna have to build his own. So today we're gonna try to do that with this. The Kano Make Your Own Laptop Computer Kit. It's got everything you need to make your own working laptop. It says it's got a screen, battery, and sensor inside. There are simple steps. You build it yourself. You can learn to code. You can hack Minecraft. There are hundreds of playful projects. And you can make art, apps, games, and music. It's recommended for ages six and up, so this guy should have no problem building it. Even Jillian can build it. What do you know about building computers? Nothing, but I can code a little bit using GML. Cool, yeah, Evan's really into computers, so this is gonna be a nice lesson, and then you end up with your own computer at the end. You can even watch YouTube, use Google Maps, browse the web, Wikipedia, WhatsApp, and hundreds of other apps. Okay, let's see what's inside. Okay, let's open this up. Ooh, Ooh, nice. So we can already see there's a keyboard right here. How's it feel? It feels cool. Yeah, so there's like a touch pad here. Okay, we have a clear stand. We have a blue cord. And what is this? Is this a speaker? What do we have here? Three USB ports. We have a red piece. I think this might be the power button. Sound sensor, a Kano flash card. Hey, look, that looks like you. Okay, so here we have, it looks like the motherboard. This runs off of Raspberry Pi 3, which is a quad core processor. We have a little charger. Every computer needs power. We have these red cords and we have this big red thingy. Okay, we're gonna learn what these things are soon. We have some gray parts. Yellow HDMI cable. Okay, what we got there on the bottom? <laughs> oh, it's got a 10.1 inch HD screen. You can't see them yet, but inside this square are 10,000 pixels and billions of liquid crystals. Ready to bring them to life? Let's go. We've got instructions here. Some stickers. We've got stickers so we can decorate our laptop when we're done. You can spell your name out using these letters. How to upgrade your speaker. Show off. We want you to see what you make. Tweet us a photo at Team Kano or share on Facebook.com slash Kano Computing. We'll make you famous. So here are all our components. Okay, so what's the first step? So everything is nicely illustrated. You can follow along really easily. This is your computer's brain. It's tiny but powerful. Let's give your brain new powers. Grab the memory card and slide out the micro card. We've got the SD adapter and we're taking out the micro SD card. Right there. Turn the brain over. This is the brain? That is the brain. It can hold thousands of images, games, and ideas. Slide the micro in securely. So we're sticking in the eight gigabyte. Great, now let's add an on off button. Grab your power board and line it up with the brain's pins. Okay, so we have some pins and we need to line them up so we can connect the power button. You connected the board to the general purpose input and output, GPIO. Now you have a power button, fantastic. How does your computer think? If you look deep inside, it's made out of billions of electric switches. We are gonna grab the brain block and this will keep the brain in place. So we gotta put it on like so. Let's go see there. It looks like we're gonna attach our brain onto the back of the screen. Yep, snaps right into place. Cool, great, brain in place. Let's prepare for cables. Grab the cable block. So here is the driver board. The driver board gets millions of messages from your computer every second and passes them to your screen. We have a yellow HDMI cable. A lot of you guys use those to connect your TV to different devices or video game consoles. This cable will carry pictures from your computer to your screen. It sends images, videos, and more. 
as binary code. You know what binary code is? Binary code is code that's composed of ones and zeros. Like the matrix? Oh yeah, I know binary now because I made a secret message for my friend so no one else could decode it. Plug the yellow cable into the brain. Okay, one side of the cable goes into the brain. All the way. And the other side goes into the driver board. Okay. We're supposed to put it through the cable block, keep it nice and organized. Time to give your computer a voice. Pick up the DIY speaker. Okay, so that blue one was a speaker. Mm -hmm. Plug the power cable into the brain's USB. There are four USB ports on the brain. Okay, we got one side of the speaker into the USB, and now, that's gonna supply power. Now the audio jack. And then we're gonna have the audio come from the audio jack. And then we attach the speaker to the side. Okay, now we gotta put the cable in. Put our cable in to the cable management system. Now let's give your computer connection powers. Grab the USB hub. Do you know what a USB hub does? I uh, know. <laughs> So you plug this into one of these ports and then it the branches green. out and gives you three more. Oh. oh yeah, I can see. There you go. We can attach it to the back of the screen. There. Plug it into the brain. Okay, so that green cable's gotta go over to one of the USB ports. Great job, you're almost done, but there's something missing. What do you think is missing? <laughs> Power. Let's add some electricity, grab the battery. Okay, so this big red thing is a battery. Secure. And that just goes onto the bottom. Okay, grab the red power cable. Plug it in. Okay, it looks like we're connecting the short end of the power cable into our on and off button. Power board. The other end goes into Here. the driver board. Grab the small red power cable. Mm. So there's a little port on the side of our laptop screen. Pick it up, flip it over, and push the power button. Take out the white piece. This is a radio antenna. Mm. Plug this piece into the brain. Okay, so we have a wireless keyboard. So we need to put the receiving end into the USB. So let's add the case. So get the case and push it onto the screen. All our little components in there are protected. Now one final touch, the sound sensor. Electric computer, listen to the world around you. We need to plug it into one of the USB ports on the hub. You can plug in up to three different devices. There. Okay, to power it up, let's hold down. It's starting up. Okay, I see it lighting up back there. Get ready, k is starting up. Follow the white rabbit. Type CD rabbit hole. It's tiny. Whoa, is that the binary? Hello, what is your name? Nice to meet you, Evan. I am your computer. Together we can make almost anything with code. Press enter to continue. First you can help me talk. Type say hello and press enter. Hello. Now let's use your microphone to turn sound into data. Type activate microphone. Make some noise. Hey, what's up? <laughs> oh. So we can see the little sound waves when we talk. It gets uh, big. Soft. Soft. Bigger. Bigger. <laughs> All right. Rest in peace, headphone users. Let's make my wallpaper. What happens when you snap these code blocks together? Well, let's see. Ooh. Try adding another cloud code block, draw clouds. <laughs> Mason, you connected commands and made a program. Now let's connect to Wi-Fi. Press enter to continue. Okay, we're getting online now. Success, you're connected. Hey, look, it's you. Okay, so you can customize your user. Okay, we moved into another room because uh, it was hard to see the screen in the other room. Let's see <coughs> what we got here. First, let's try hack Minecraft. So not only can you play Minecraft, now you can hack it. So we can code a uh, new power. How about name in blocks? What should it write? Evan is cool. You can write something, you can change the position or the type of block mm -hmm. that's used. Yeah. Okay, let's press C. Look. Oh wait. Evan is cool. Evan is cool. <laughs> so I made my name out of blocks. 
and you can experiment with all different kinds of um, codes. I was trying this out and you can build towers with one button and I picked a TNT tower. When you swing it with the sword, this is what happens. Oh no, my, my beautiful sign. Ugh. <laughs> I blew up everything. So here's make pong. Let's make pong. Okay, make pong. Click make to bring pong to life. Okay, so Evan's playing a game of Pong. I guess the AI. Oh, no! oh, oh. oh I got it. Is he gonna, oh, you're gonna miss. Oh, oh. I got a point. Oh, gotta watch the bounce. Oh, I'm, I got uh, two to two. Oh, oh no. Oh. oh. Okay, and so you can make your own Pong board and you can select like things like the color. Uh, how about Mine Minecraft, or what else is there? So there's space, forest, scene. So there's a bunch of different themes you can do. Okay, it's telling us to pick the forest because it wants to give us an example. Now choose a color for the lines. Okay, and then you just drag it on, connect it. Red is my favorite color, so I'm gonna keep it as red. Click make to run your code. Whoa. So we've got a forest scene with a red line in the middle. And there we go, we can play Pong in the forest. Grab the ball block and give it a big size. Here's the ball. Let's make it 117. What's the largest ball you can make? I don't know, I'm just gonna do, let's try it and then just speed, let's make it go really fast. Um, 117 and 117 <laughs> style. Color, fireball. Oh, okay, let's try it. Whoa! Too fast. <laughs> yeah! It's so big that you almost get, oh, you're losing. No. Oh. Why was this even working? He has 47 how, points. How is he doing this? <laughs> All right, so that's some of the cool stuff you can do with Pong. You can make the ball go really fast or you can change the size of it. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna do two more. I'm gonna do Scratch and story mode. Scratch is actually a program I've used before. Basically, um, you can code your own game or whatever you want. This is the first costume. You can change it to whatever you want. So if I wanna edit the costume. You can even make animations with this. So let's start sprite, uh, the costume one right there. And then I can have a script so he can move 10 steps, turn 15 degrees, so when flag click, that's what it will do. Okay, so there's there's all these cool coding apps on here. Yeah, you can even do sound. So play sound meow when that gets clicked. And the last one I'm gonna show you guys is story mode. So here it is. There's us, remember the character we made? Whoa, look at the, how the, they did the effects on the ball. Oh. So they did that all with coding. New area, power path. Look at that bunny, let's get it. <laughs> Have you come to visit the power port too? Did you know the whole computer is powered by energy brought through the red cable? The story mode is kind of like a guided tour of the computer and the software that's on the system. Yep. But it makes it uh, fun and interesting, so it's not boring. Yeah, right? it's like, see all the cables here? Kano has a friendly online community where you can share your creations. Check out these. These are the staff picks. Uh, these are some of the things you can do and create. And so when you're done with a project, you can upload it and other people can check it out from all over the world. Pretty cool. Okay guys, so that was a look at our DIY computer build. What do you think of it? It's really fun and it's actually a cool concept because it's a simple computer that anyone pretty much can build. Um, it teaches you well. Yeah, it's a fun way to learn. Not only about hardware, but software as well. And this looks pretty cool for not just kids, but for adults too. I might get on here and learn a thing or two. So if you guys are interested in getting your own kit, we'll leave a link in the description down below and you can start creating and learning. And you can have your own laptop. So, and then when you're all done, you can just pop the keyboard right onto the back there. And there you go. So thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.